Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with our last two boxes of 2020 Topps Chrome Baseball Ben Baller Edition. This is pick your team number six. I think unless they're sold out, if you're watching live, I think Jason has two more personal boxes left and that's it for now. But for the last two boxes, big thanks to all of these wonderful people right here. Now we got to give away the Chicago White Sox in this, so it's our usual Two teams, one entry, so on and so forth. Four teams, two entries, blah, 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 blah. So let's take care of this. Brian with two teams, that's one entry. John with four teams, that's two entries. Chris G, two teams, one entry. EA, two teams, one entry. Frankie, two team, four teams, two entries. John, two teams, one entry. Josh, two teams, one entry. Nathan, two teams, one entry. Oliver, two teams, one entry. Richard with four teams, that's two entries. And Sean with two teams, that's one entry. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. All right, just want to double check. I think we got everybody. What's up, Jeff? Yankees have 17 home runs in three games. Jeez. All right, let's get all the names in here. Name on top after... After 10, name on top after 10 gets the White Sox in these last two boxes. Five and a five, hard 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And 10th and final time, name on top, Chris Garosi. There you go. Congrats to you. You get the White Sox. So let's uh, get these names back in team order right here. And let's print this out and let's see what's in these final two boxes. Good luck. We've got Thursday Night Football on the background as well. Torres just hit his 18th, hit the 18th Yankees home run in the last three games. Who are they playing? I remember I marked these pick your team six right there. All right, pick your team six. Good luck, Jays. Sorry, Blue Jays. There's the final printout right here on Thursday, the 17th. Ooh. Baker Mayfield slinging it around a little bit. Yeah, that's what I've heard. 21. For, fortunately, we have not run into that issue. Remember, all card chip in this. Uh, Richard, what, what did you get last night? What's up, Corey? Always nice to wake up to a monster, though. Oh, that gold Luis Robert. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I remember that. Congrats. What does that go for? That grades out nicely too? Man. Oh, you are going to grade it. All right. Well, yeah, let us know what that grades out at. That's pretty strong.
There's our die cut. Generally falls one per box. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Blue Jays, Sean Maddock from the Bluebirds. There's a Luis Robert in that mid-80s design right there. That's a nice one for Chris Garosi, who won the White Sox. And we got some orange. Nice Tony Gonsolin, who's been playing well. Now that he's getting some, getting some starts now, Nathan with my Dodgers. Four out of 25. Nice. He loves cats. Cat guy. Another Luis Robert base card this time. We got a gold, Ronald Guzman, 44 out of 50. For the Rangers, that's going to be for Josh Allen. Quarterback Josh Allen? Or defensive end Josh Allen? What do you think? Who has more time to join group breaks at jazzfeescasebreaks.com? Maybe both of them have time. It's only Thursday. Finished up practice. Had a nice dinner. Probably hanging around. There's Josh Allen right there. Hi, Josh. How, how are your bills going to do? 8 out of 75. How do you think the bills are going to do? Sweet. Give us some inside inside trading trading information. 1 out of 99 on that DJ LeMahieu for the Yankees. Frankie. The D. Gordon Blue goes to um, Nathan and the M's. Aquino for the Reds, EA. We got Francisco Lindor, John Samuelson, and the Indians, one out of 75. We got Carter Keboom, Chris, and the Nats. 18 out of 99. Oh, sorry, Trevor Williams. There's Otani. Pete Alonzo. Gavin Lux, rookie card. Going to Nathan and my Dodgers. Gavin Lux is starting to, starting to hit nicely. And there's a Nico Horner rookie card for the Cubs, EA. One of their big prospects. Oh, touchdown Nick Chubb? Dust off your Nick Chubb rookie cards. Pete Alonzo gold auto out of this. Autos are not common in, in these Ben Baller sets. Sub AP, what's going on? Uh, I'll be honest with you, 21. I don't know much about Ben Baller, so... So, I think it looks cool, but since I'm not super familiar with him, it doesn't really add anything for me. I like that you like it. I like that it has good secondary market value. I like the box prices are going up. I dig all that. What I dig even more is that is Tops kind of expanding their their sort of 
horizons a little bit, stretching what they can do with product and doing like collabs like this. And I think that's a smart move. So maybe Ben Baller leads to another person's collaboration, another designer's collaboration. I mean, is, is it crazy to think like high fashion could get involved in this, you know? So who knows? I think it's cool though. You know, have uh, I know, was it Bryce Harper kind of kind of curator design like a set? Maybe there'll be more player sets for these major brands like Chrome, like Chrome, you know. Yeah, Richard says Baller worked good with stuff like Chrome. Can't imagine on other products. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, tops have to be careful. You can't just bend Baller everything, you know. But I think, I think it just depends. But what if like, I don't know. What if, what if, what if Cartier does uh, does diamond icons? You know what I mean? How crazy would that be? What if, what if Tiffany's does a diamond icons product? And you get you get the or dynasty or something like that. I mean, you might think it's crazy. I don't think it is. If they're going this direction, there could be some some interesting collabs at that point. Yeah, I have I have heard that Steve Aoki into the into the trading cards now. Which I think is great too. You know. I think that's that's another person that you may not think that would that would enjoy the hobby, but but that opens a whole new audience to people that are interested in cards. There's Jake Rogers, the Tigers, Josh Allen with that one. There's Dylan Cease, 14 out of 75 White Sox, Chris Garosi with that. That's why I always kind of chuckle when people are like, oh, you know. The prices of this are going to tank, and people are just not going to pay these outrageous prices anymore. But sixteen out of ninety-nine. But as the audience keeps growing, Steve Aoki's audience, Ben Baller's audience, you know, whoever else gets into this sort of stuff, you know, like other YouTube stars I've seen get into it, you know, like all of that just keeps keeps the the keeps the brand and keeps the hobby keeps it keeps expanding it making it more mainstream instead of just us hardcore collectors that have been doing these group breaks for so long. It opens up a whole new world. Now, not every, it's not going to take for everybody, you know, but if for every hundred new people, if like five people like get really super serious into it, that'd be awesome. What a return. And if, those, if that happens, maybe those guys end up, or girls end up discovering Jaspies, and that helps us too. Now, like Zion prices, you know, stuff like that, there'll be, they'll be, you know, a stock market like up and down. That's just natural. 31 out of 50 Acuna. But in general, though, in a broad sense, the hobby, I think, is just, could, could just continue to grow with all this interest. I don't know. I think more kids want to get into it. <laughs> like Ben Baller collabs, you know? It's like, so if like Supreme gets into it, it's like some of the things like teenage kids would lo like love these brands, and it becomes aspirational, you know. So they're knowledgeable about it, you know, before they even can start spending money on it. Think about that. Yeah, Mark Wahlberg, you know, open up boxes too. That's a whole other audience, you know. So then if like they see his kids opening the stuff up, that catches that age range. You know, that gets more people that age range to discover the hobby or at least learn about it. And maybe they'll be smarter about spending on it, you know, because it is expensive. Or they just get their parents to spend on it, right? iPads are expensive too, but every other kid seems to have an iPad. There's Juan Soto die cut for Chris and the Nats. John Samson, you're asking new students to see if they're interested in getting a box of cards and leaving a box of mosaic on their doors to start the school year. You're the best teacher ever. 
There's Juan Soto die cut. Best teacher ever. Make sure they appreciate what that mosaic value is before you do that, John. Ah, mosaic base. I'm not that rich. I was going to say, I was like, are you dropping like blaster boxes on their door? As Matt ties to, to 50. There's Luis Robert. No, but I mean, I think, uh, yeah, I think as kids get more into it or adults who teach kids, teachers like John, get into it. I know we've had a couple other teachers buy uh, or we've donated our base cards to some uh, to some teachers. Actually, John, you should reach out to about us about that if you can find a good way to use those. But we've, we have in the past donated to teachers and they've used cards in their classrooms for stats classes or math classes and stuff like that, you know, to been able to use that. So there's there's a lot of ways the hobby has been expanding. And we're trying to do, we're trying to do our part too. I mean, as a business, it behooves us, right? If if more and more people know about the hobby and if they're knowledgeable about it. There's Ronald Guzman, 75. Josh Allen with the Rangers, and there's the Marcus Simeon with the A's. John G, 57 out of 99 on that. We're trying to build a build a sharper collector. That's why we're so big on everyone doing their own research and and doing all that stuff and trying to trying to teach as well as enjoy and break. Just helps the hobby, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're trying to do. Trying to do our part, little by little. Thanks, everybody. That was another great break of uh, 2020 Top Scrum Baseball Ben Baller Edition. Pick your team six. I'm Joe for jazbeescaserace.com, and we'll chat more with you next time. Bye-bye.